For years, I've had people ask me if I would share or sell any of my CNC files for my guitar designs, and I've always said no, until now. First, I'll tell you why I've always said no. Um, obviously, I've been doing this YouTube stuff for a long time, and I very freely and openly share almost everything I do here, all the information. I show how I do things all the time, but I do make and sell guitars for a living. I don't do YouTube for a living. And so that is sort of my IP, these actual files, even though I'll show you the computer screens of what the files look like and me cutting them and all the processes. I really always wanted to just retain that property as being mine as the product that I sell. Of course, it's such a first world problem to have, but there was always a potential too that someone would go out and use my files to make knockoff versions of my instruments and all that stuff. And not that I think that would ever happen, but you know, it is something to think about and why would I make it easier for those people? I have a similar relationship with retail that right now I don't sell any of the products I make, any of my tools, any of my guitar stuff, anywhere besides through me. I would hate for someone to get uh, erroneously charge somewhere and start competing with myself. It just doesn't make sense to me right now. But what does make sense to me is having downloadable files of guitars available for people that watch these videos because I know that most of you are people that are going to make your own guitar whether I help you or not. That's why you're here, right? So why don't I help you? I figured the easiest solution for this was to just design a guitar that is specifically only for these files. And so I did that and I think it looks pretty cool. Check it out. I wanted to make the guitar like a classic guitar shape that wasn't too boring but too weird or modern and this is what I came up with. It's just a basic double cutaway and I think it looks pretty good. It's a 25 and a half inch scale and it comes with a fingerboard file as well as a neck file which here you can see I did a paddle head version so you can design your own headstock or you can use the pre-designed headstock version that I also created. Since everyone has different digital needs, I just included every version I could think of of these types of files, including DXFs, STLs, and my original Aspire files. So however you work in the digital world, you should be able to build this guitar easily from there. So of course I had to run these files to make sure they worked. And I Department store tells me which clothes I'm supposed to wear And the barber shop tells me how to cut my hair And the stereo tells me which music I will play The policeman tells me to pull right over there The disc jacket tells me when I'm supposed to dance And the exterminator tells me that I should kill the ants and the
Now this is all part of a bigger plan that I have for New Perspectives Music and this line of guitar parts and kits that I'm developing. Okay, I'm just a one-man shop, so I'm rolling this out as quickly as I can, um, but I have other things to do as well. And I thought the easiest and best way to maybe roll this out and start gauging interest is to just start with a digital files package. All of the digital files that you need to make this guitar. It has all of the DXFs, which are vector line drawings. You can actually print them out on paper or you can use them to build your own cut paths and stuff and lasers and CNC and all that. Also included are STL files, which are like the 3D model files of all the parts for this guitar. Now I didn't make the STL of the guitar fingerboard because it didn't really make sense to model in all those fret slots, but that's where you'd go to the line drawing for that. But what I did do is I modeled the guitar body three times uh, with three different pickup hole configurations. So you can choose the one that works best for you, as well as I modeled the neck. And I should mention I modeled two necks. I modeled one with this headstock I designed just for this guitar. It's pretty generic and traditional. And then I designed another one that has a paddle headstock so you can make your own headstock design. Both come with the kit. So yes, it has every line drawing that you need to build all these parts. It has the 3D models of all these parts, but I also included my original Aspire files, which is a Vectric software program that I use to run my CNC. So other CNC users that use Vectric Aspire will just be able to open up my files and cut them. All the tool paths are there, all the tools that I use are there. Everything's ready to go. So it's really for Aspire users. You're like, all you gotta do is just put a block of wood on your CNC and go basically. I'm starting these all at a discount price right now. The price will go up in a little while. I'm not quite sure when, so go check it out and see if it's something that interests you. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on what you like or don't like about the way I'm doing this because I am always listening and open to change too. That's taken care of. Then the next step of this is to actually make some of these parts in varying levels of completion for different people and their different needs. This is the body in the rough off my CNC. This is a piece of oak from a uh, church pew, it's kind of cool. It's got a little hole in it here and there, you know, got the reclaim thing going on. Uh, I love how just a little bit of unevenness in the wood, you know, left some of that finish. I thought that was pretty cool. And here's the neck. Uh, and this is made from local poplar with a maple fingerboard. I'm trying to go quickly. Um, and so I'm messing around some different ways to produce and make these in batches. And uh, I thought I would try to do a different uh, inlay. I thought I'd try to use CA glue for the inlay. And I don't like how they came out um, on this fingerboard um, so they got this sort of bleed uh, here you can see I did one with epoxy the way I usually do it this doesn't have any finish on it yet of course but you can see it's a much cleaner look and um, I sealed the wood first so this is the way that they will be getting made I cut these out I cut all the parts out I know they work um, but now I haven't actually built a guitar yet so in a future video I'm gonna take this very first one that I made and I'm gonna finish it so I'm gonna basically be you on the other side of the, the mailbox We'll see how that goes. And then also part of the plan is to keep my store stocked with some of these parts in varying completion points. So uh, the other neck and body are gonna go up for sale at newperspectivesmusic.com and I am going to stock necks and bodies from various wood, various reclaimed materials uh, and leave them in the store. So the necks would be like this. They'll be like partially complete. The frets are in, but they're not leveled and crowned. They're just sort of basically leveled needs a little bit of work, you know, finish sanding and, and all that stuff. Uh, the body, same thing, sand to about 120 grit, so it's up to you how fancy you want to get with that. There's a little bit of sanding to do. Uh, and of course, I'll include a closet door cavity cover. I also plan on stocking body blanks like this that just have the holes cut out for the pickups and neck and stuff so you can cut your own shape, as well as neck blanks without the fingerboard glued on yet, just the neck, as well as fingerboards, both fretted and unfretted. I'm gonna keep it all to just these styles for now. There's not gonna be any customization options available because I'm just one guy and I can't do it. So it's gonna be just what I list is gonna be available. People can contact me about custom orders like they always have and always will, I'm sure, but that's gonna be separate from this package. That will be, you know, case by case basis. I also wanna point out that I do not design my stuff to work with other brand name guitars. This guitar neck will not necessarily fit your store-bought brand name guitar. It probably will, and you could probably make it fit, but it's not designed to do that. I have no intention of ever doing anything that those companies do or working with them in any way. So I make all my stuff to work by myself. Yes, you could probably make a neck from another brand name guitar fit this, but I can't guarantee it will. This one I can. 
for those of you who don't have or use digital equipment and don't want to, <laughs> I, I get it, I do. Uh, I'm also making some quarter inch MDF templates that are laser cut. Uh, so you can do this the old fashioned way in, using my designs instead of other people's designs. So it comes with a neck, it comes with this, uh, this fingerboard template that you can see I made a couple different ways for marking prep positions as well as the front body for all the cavity holes and whatnot. A little extra material on there to keep your router flat. And then of course, the back piece for your back cavity and your final profile shape. So I'm working on having those in stock at the store too. I will be doing more updates on all this stuff as it continues to grow. Um, go check the site, see if it's there. If it is, there might only be one or two. You can grab it now. I will be stocking it. I'm excited to see if there's even a lot of interest in this and if I need to worry about stocking it a lot or not, I really don't know. But it was something that I've had enough people ask me about that I thought it was time to try. So I'm giving it a whirl. I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts below. Uh, this is something that I do hope will uh, grow and expand and um, help people make guitars, man. I get it. Like people want to make guitars. They don't necessarily have all this stuff. And so if I can get you exactly what you need uh, to which you can finish with your tools and skill set and time. That's that's awesome. And I'd much rather come from my shop sustainably here than some crappy Chinese product overseas. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot and be good.